I'm Dr. Mark Baker. I'm a urologist at South Florida Baptist Hospital. Being a urologist, we deal with uh, any aspect of the urinary system. Uh, we deal with pediatric and adult uh, medicine in regards to the kidneys, the ureters, which are the tubes that drain the kidneys into the bladder, the bladder itself, um, and also uh, the prostate. Um, we deal roughly 50% of my practice with men, 50% of my practice is with women. So conditions I treat within urology focus mostly upon robotic surgery involving uh, both uh, benign and malignant conditions and also have a, a focus upon female reconstructive surgery also. We'll see anywhere, anything from stone disease to um, different types of malignancies of the urologic system. Most of the patients are referred to us or referred to us from their primary care. They would have already been evaluated by their primary care, uh, maybe have uh, began a medication at some point that did not work. Um, quite possibly they've been given a course of Kegel exercises to help with the incontinence and has failed. So they'll sit, oftentimes send the patient to us at that point and then we'll go into more in-depth evaluation and treatment at that point. If you're talking about stress incontinence, oftentimes we'll talk about um, uh, three main approaches. If Kegels do not work, then we'll move on to two main options for uh, stress incontinence management would be bulking. We actually inject a medication into the urethra or around the urethra to bulk up the urethra. The other option, uh, which is commonly done, is a sling, which is a small piece of mesh that sits behind the urethra, prevents mobility of the urethra. When we have patients with urgent incontinence, when they fail medications oftentimes, there's really kind of three main options we have at that point for interventions. Uh, one of these is Botox that just recently got FDA approval about a year ago in regards to overactive bladder management. So we can actually inject Botox into the bladder wall. Uh, second one would be peripheral nerve stimulating where we actually stimulate a nerve in the foot to send signals to the spinal cord to tell the bladder to calm down. It's an office treatment. And then another, a little bit more involved is a procedure called interstim therapy, which is, is basically like a bladder pacemaker. It's a small wire we place on the sacral nerve root. And, it's, and it's, the patient has a sensation of a tapping sensation within the, uh, the bladder area, rectal area, and it tells the bladder to calm down. The success rates of those procedures are more along the lines of over 75%.